Hello everyone, my name is Emily and today I'm going to be doing a review on the Holbein Artist Quality Gouache. Hello everyone, my name is Emily and today we're going to be doing a review on the Holbein Artist Quality Gouache. I actually purchased these bad boys off of Amazon, believe it or not, for about $20 and some cents USD, which seems like a pretty fair price. I did get the 12 color set and they're 5 mil each. Here's what that looks like. So it's not that much, but with gouache, a little usually goes a very, very long way. This is what the 12 mil looks like. I am not going to make a joke about how the black one is substantially bigger than this one because that would be insensitive. I'm gonna go through the categories of what I think is important in a paint and list the pros and the cons of each category. So since this is an in-depth review, I actually am gonna go into everything, including the first category, which is the packaging. I really think the packaging that you purchase it in is really delightful compared to some other brands. The cardboard is really sturdy and holds up really well. And look, look at this. Look at this shit. They actually have like little, little cardboard leaflets. I think that's awesome. It, the, you can actually fucking keep your paints in the packaging it came in. Who would have fucking thought? <laughs> I made a mess. <laughs> and not only that, but I think the packaging is just really, really attractive in a very simplistic kind of way. Um, I kind of liken it almost to a blank VHS tape in the late 70s, 80s, and 90s. It just has this very minimalistic kind of quality about it, and the font is very simple. Um, there is Japanese writing because Holbein is a Japanese company. I could see it definitely deteriorating because yes, duh, it's cardboard, but it still is meant to hold your paints. You know, I feel like a lot of the time we just kind of empty out our tube paints and then throw away the packaging. We are paying for the manufacturing of the actual packaging. It would be like super awesome if we could like, I don't know, maybe fucking keep the packaging. I don't know. <laughs> Who thought of that? So I think the packaging gets an A plus in my book. Unlike some other paints. <laughs> Sonic is so cheap. It's hard to Sweating. Oh jeez. <laughs> so now let's talk about the tubes. And no, you disgusting perverts. I'm not talking about those tubes that I desperately want to have tied. <laughs> I'm an unfit mother. The tubes they came in. Talked a little about it at first, but that was just to kind of show you the the size. Look how tiny these are. So let me get in a little bit about the tubes. Um, they don't feel super cheap. They're not as nice as the larger tubes. I almost feel like they're not the same. They might be. They just don't feel like the same material. They almost feel a little bit plastic eater. More plastic is the word I'm looking for. Go back to school, you dumb bitch. Um, these definitely feel nice. Uh, just that really metal kind of tube, like you can really tell with the bigger ones that these are like very nice artist quality. They feel expensive. That's not important, but you know. Smaller tubes don't feel as nice and maybe it's just because they're smaller so you don't really, um, you can't really tell the difference. I don't know if they're the same material. They are, however, not as cheap as like the Reeves tubes. They don't feel like that really thin plasticky tube. And then the other problem I have with the tubes is they are packed full. And yes, that is a really good quality because you're getting more than what you're paying for kind of. But every single one of the five mil were just bursting out of their tube. And I fucking hate that because I always use more um, than I needed and I don't like that. And I know with gouache it's not that big of a deal because you can just re-wet it and use it again, but it's never that same consistency as fresh from the tube. When I was doing the swatches I was using the, a product that was in the cap. So tubes, eh, not the like greatest point of the product, but again, not the worst, so let us continue. 
The next category is consistency and holy shit these colors are fantastic. You can add so much water to them and they still have this kind of weight to them. That was the first thing I noticed. These colors are incredibly concentrated, much more so actually than the Windsor and Newton ones, which is kind of weird because those were kind of my favorite. Now, I'm thinking these are starting to be my favorite for that very reason. Just a touch goes such a long way. None of the colors came out lumpy. All of them were just uh, 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 the almost the exact same consistency. A few colors were just a little bit thinner than the other ones, and that was the burnt sienna, the lemon yellow, and the permanent yellow, but the difference was so minute it would only show under a microscope. I was really looking hard for some kind of inconsistency between all of them, so this category, it, they just get blown out of the water. Fucking amazing. The next category is color, which is probably what you guys are all here waiting for and I actually am pretty 50-50 on this for a very unusual reason. These colors are almost too vibrant. The color selection I've seen available in their open stock and the color selection that was given to me in this set and what's available also in the 12 mil set, um, they're all so vibrant and bright and in your face. And like I said, you've done so much water to, you know, thin them out if you want to. Obviously it's gouache, you gotta add white. But I just almost feel like they're too vibrant for certain kinds of painting. If you're doing a lot of painting with earth tones or landscapes and things like that, these are not for you. I would choose the Windsor Newton Designer Gouache way over these just because they have a lot more earth tones and they're vibrant without being just shocking. And I do a lot of very, very colorful portraits and I feel like these work perfectly for my kind of artwork, but if you're doing anything with muted colors, it, it's just not gonna work for you, unfortunately. So it can either be 100% in your book, or a, ah, fuck it, I'm not gonna buy those. <laughs> those aren't gonna work. So like 100 or zero. I'm gonna name a couple other little bullet points that I kind of noticed. Um, they re-wet quickly, easily, and what's awesome is they don't crack. The colors I've been using, I've, I've kind of put out a lot, like just to see how they re-wet, and sometimes with the Windsor Newton Designer gouache, if I put out too much color and it dries, it cracks and I lose it, like it just falls off my palette, and that sucks, and in that case, I add a little honey, and I think if you were doing like a huge drop of, you know, pigment onto your palette and weren't expecting to finish the piece all at once, I would add a dollop of honey before it dries out, but I've pretty much did a couple really big dollops and I didn't see hardly any cracking. There was a little bit and the only reason I would add that honey is if you're expecting to keep reusing that one dollop because over time the gouache is going to crack no matter what from that overuse. So that was something I noticed and was very happy about. And also these colors mix really well. I, I didn't really expect them not to. They are obviously artist quality. They use real pigment. <laughs> fan f fantastic. So let's go over the general pros and cons and then my, you know, my, my number rating, which I'm going to start doing from now on. So the pros were the really cool and sturdy packaging. That was a big pro. I feel like that's a small detail, like I said before, that not a lot of people pay attention to, so that's awesome. The consistency for all of them were fantastic, incredibly smooth, no lumping, no bubbles. The colors are incredibly vibrant, no matter how much water you add. They are very concentrated, so a little bit goes a long way. That's a pro because that means they are worth the $28 I spent on that. If I'm gonna spend 30 bucks, I better fucking get 30 bucks of product. Another pro was that they re-wet super easily and there is very minimal cracking when you reuse them. And I'll give this like a half pro. There is a lot of product in the tube. They are overflowing, but there is that extra bit of product, which is very nice. Now the few cons are obviously the tube, which is a half a con, basically. There's too much product in the tube. Yes, I'm getting more, but it's spilling out, and I, I just would rather use my product fresh from the tube. I don't want to have to pour out too much or more than I need. I know people tend to recommend that, but it is really frustrating when I watch my perfectly mixed colors start to dry up, and I know I'm not going to use it anymore. 
especially when you have these hopes in your head like, oh yeah, I'll use this with another piece, but usually my color palettes are far from identical, so I end up just wiping it off my palette anyway. So that's kind of a waste and kind of a bummer. It almost makes you feel like you're losing money at that point. And the other con is the colors are kind of hard to calm down. So if you're doing something with a muted color palette, you're kind of SOL. You have to be really, really good at mixing in order to get a more muted color, and that just actually takes a lot of extra time. In order for me to get a pretty muted grayish color, it kind of took me at least four minutes. I was just like, ah, settle down, colors, settle down. And my marks out of 10 are, drum roll please. <laughs> that wasn't a drum roll. <laughs> That literally, that, that wasn't, that wasn't a drum roll. Still not a, still not a drum roll. That is, that is screaming. Okay, you know what? Not gonna ask for a drum roll. Let's just, um, eight and a half out of ten. Eight and a half out of ten. So, comparatively, even though I didn't give the White Knights a rating, I would have given the White Knights watercolors also an eight and a half out of ten. Maybe more like an eight because of the packaging, but all included, these guys get an eight and a half, almost a nine. They're fucking fantastic. I highly recommend you purchase them because they really are worth the money. Let me just uh, throw a last minute uh, pro in there. You can either buy the 5ml or the 15ml. So if you're not really sure, if you really want to invest in these gouache colors, yeah, again, $30 is a bill, but at least you get enough to try them. I'd say this is probably gonna last me, considering how many gouache paintings I do a year, this will probably last me for a full 12 months from now. Before I do my little end slogan thing, I wanna do a couple announcements. Thank you guys so much for 2,000 subscribers. Welcome to the family. If you guys have ever been interested in me drawing you, if you post a selfie or a picture on Instagram or Twitter and use the hashtag artfulassholes, you enter yourself to win, I guess? Win a, win a chance at possibly having me draw you and posting it on my Instagram. And my Instagram is obviously Emily Artful. Also guys, if any of my videos are ever up late or you're kind of confused about what's going on with my upload schedule, I post all updates and, you know, important information on my Twitter. And if you want to get in touch with me, um, I'm going to say probably adding me on Twitter is going to be the best way. Also, you are free to Snapchat me at... Oh, also, also, also Emily Artful. Oh yeah. And one more announcement. I have a doge! Osa, come here! Look! Come here. Give me a kiss. Look! What? What? Give me a kiss. Oh! What? Oh, Sarah! I promise I don't have crazy amounts of pets. I just have Milo, my chinchilla, and this one. Oh, baby! She's actually a, a certified uh, emotional support dog. Um, emotional support service dog. Um, my friend was moving house. It was her dog. Ah! And wasn't able to take her into the house that she was moving to um and me and my roommate and his mom were like let's take dog do doge and so we took her and we've had her for two days now and she seems really happy and having a great time she is two years old <laughs> and obviously she is a purebred german shepherd and she's fucking huge i've never had a big dog before i've only had two one little dog and one medium-sized dog so this is definitely an adjustment but Right now in our house, we only have two pets and I would really like to keep it that way because I am the sole caretaker of both these pets. So, but you know, I'm okay with that. She's so cute. She's so cute. She's so smart too. She is just sharp as a whip. So this is gonna be a lot of fun. And I am not even a little bit upset that I have just a bunch of dog hair in my lips. Tastes like cute. And before you guys ask, yes, we are gonna keep up her training and make sure she stays sharp in that sense. So, thank you guys for watching this review. I hope you liked it. Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to stay out of trouble. See you guys later. Did I just do a fucking kiss? <laughs>
I'm a beauty guru. Look at my asshole. You can see my intestines from here. <laughs> beep, 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 beep. Pet the doge. Pet the doge. Pet the doge. Pet the doge. Boo, pokey in the eye.